Hey guys, welcome to another RS3 quick tip video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be going over the XP tracker, uh, which you can see up here in the top corner. That's where I've placed mine. Uh, it used to be a lot more simple. It would always be in the top right corner. You just click the XP tracker icon and there you'd have it. But now it's a little bit different. Still just as simple as before, but it's just a little bit different. So first, open up your options menu, go to interface settings. And this is where your XP tracker is toggled. You can see a check mark here to show it. So if you completely don't want to see it at all, you just uncheck that box. I like to see it though, so I have mine on. Now you have this little table with all these tabs, skill one, two, and three. And this is just how it was before. You can reset the counter to zero there, which I'm not gonna do because I've had this XP counter for months now. So don't really want to do that. You can choose a skill by the icons down here which is nice and all that good stuff so that's how you do all the old XP counter settings now uh, another additional feature to RS3 that you couldn't do before is if you go to your edit mode and go to gameplay HEDs editing you can actually choose where you want to move the XP tracker and since I just logged in I'm lagging a bit right now uh, but see, say I wanted to move it down there I could do that um, but for me the best place to put it is right up here where it was so real simple nice and customizable make sure you save that to your preset and when you're done for me I've already had it so I'm just gonna discard but that's really it so hope that helped you guys out if you guys are having any trouble with the XP counter uh, post a comment in the description if you need help with anything and I can make it my next quick tips video it, that's assuming I know how to do it and other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you in some more quick tip videos.